Hello and welcome to What the Hey, where I'm your regular host of What the Hey, and today in What the Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of who the hey is Alex from Minecraft? Now this question was asked by both Beauty, Healthy, and Liam. So hello to both of you and thank you very much for the question. Now, in terms of both a basic and brief explanation, Alex is one of the main skins that can be chosen to be used while playing the well-known game known as Minecraft. The actual Alex skin was specifically added to the 1.8 Minecraft update, which was released for PC in like September of 2014. The actual appearance of the Alex skin is basically just like green eyes, light skin, green shirt, orange hair, brown pants, and then like gray boots. It's kind of theorized that the idea and concept for the skin itself is related to one of the developers and creators of Minecraft known as Jeb. They do honestly look pretty similar, so I think that's kind of accurate. The actual inclusion of Alex into Minecraft is mostly related to, at least from what a lot of people assume and what a lot of people have seen, is the fact that the original and main skin that was provided for Minecraft was Steve. One of the biggest theories and things that a lot of people assume as to why the skin was added in the first place was the fact that there wasn't really much diversity to the skins that could be picked from when playing Minecraft. I honestly can't remember if in 2014 you could customize your skin by that point. When I was playing, I think I could just like go on to like a Minecraft skin creating website and then you'd have it in the game. Um, But I don't know if that was the case quite yet. But a lot of people were saying that Mojang needed to have more diversity in the skins that people could choose from and play while doing Minecraft. So that's what a lot of people assume to be the reason for the skin being added at all. There's really no difference between the Steve skin and the Alex skin in terms of like appearance. However, there's the most minute detail of the Alex like arms being thinner. So theoretically, there is a smaller hitbox for Alex. So if you're, you know, just trying to like win in any like Minecraft PvP, maybe go with the Alex skin. I don't know. Maybe if you're going against like Technoblade or something, maybe make that choice. Additionally, in relation to Steve, people were like, are Steve and Alex like cousins? Are they family or something? Um, And most people assume that that's not the case. They're most likely just like friends or something. They're just in the Minecraft world and that's how it's, that's how it is. The Alex Minecraft skin has been featured in stuff like Minecraft Dungeons as well as general merch. So it's pretty accepted that Alex is kind of like a big part of the Minecraft universe at this point. There actually is a fantastic video that was already released by a content creator back in 2015, um, and that would be IBX Toycat, who was basically discussing the exact same topic, um, but they were really great with like their general information and how they formatted it. So if you'd like to hear basically the same information, check out that video. In terms of my general opinion, I think it's kind of cool that like there's different skins that are kind of like formatted automatically into Minecraft. Like if you don't want to like just go search for a random skin or whatever uh, while you play, you can just pick one that's already pre-made and you may like it more than the Steve skin. I know people say that like representation matters uh, for like media and stuff and I think that's extremely accurate, especially in this case for me because in some aspects I feel like I kind of resemble the Alex skin. I don't know, that's for me that's kind of a plus. It's like, oh I'm in Minecraft, let's go. I legitimately cannot remember if Minecraft allowed people to download and have customizable skins before 2014. I think that's the case. I think I was able to do that when I was younger. Maybe not, Uh, but it's just kind of cool how they continually add skins to Minecraft like through the official like creators. That's pretty cool. But that's essentially the answer to the question. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.